She's <laughs> decided to weigh in on this. My God, it's almost as bad as Alyssa Milano. Greta Thunberg has decided to come out for the audience as a reminder, she's a Swedish climate activist. She's now 20, the ripe old age of 20, burst onto the scene in 18 when she was 15 years old. And she posted on X, today we strike in solidarity with Palestine and Gaza. The world needs to speak up and call for an immediate ceasefire, justice and freedom for Palestinians and all civilians affected. She was apparently holding a light blue stuffed octopus on her shoulder in the original post, which critics interpreted to be this mythical multi-tentacled sea beast that was occasionally used in Nazi iconography. Greta pleads ignorance, saying she she had no idea. But last week, she shared on her Instagram a post from this pro-Palestinian account, Palestine Speaks, which was celebrating Hamas's lethal assault on Israel. They thought it was wonderful. I mean, I could keep going. So she's back, Michael, and she's got similarly inane thoughts to the one, the ones that first put her on the national scene. Greta's on strike. Megan, correct me if I'm wrong, but in order to go on strike, don't you first need to have a job? <laughs> Isn't that a prerequisite of striking? I sort of thought it's in it the was, handbook. she's been striking. That, that is the job. The job is to strike. <laughs> and she's been striking to stop the sun monster from killing us all uh, for the past 269 weeks, I guess. And now for 270th week, she's going to shake it up and forget about Mother Gaia for a second and protest in support of Hamas. My favorite thing about the whole post is the one poor little girl in the background. And by little girl, I mean, you know, 20 something year old woman who she's got a poster up that says climate justice now. So while all the rest of them, they're talking about Gaza and Palestine and Israel, she didn't get the memo and she still had the old protest sign. So it was very unfortunate. They should have let her <laughs> retake the photo. But it can be very confusing because these, these uh, leftist causes uh, change by the day, sometimes by the hour. Uh, but once again, I, I think another good example, just as with AOC and Justin Trudeau and the rest of them, if St. Greta of the Blessed Sailboat is on one side of an issue, uh, probably as a rule of thumb, you're going to want to be on the other side. Run, don't walk. But, to, but you know what? You, you shouldn't feel sorry for that girl in the back because this is what they are doing. They're trying to wrap yeah. all their causes into one. BLM, it's the same thing as stand with Palestine. Climate justice is the same thing as justice for Palestine. On Twitter yesterday, I retweeted this. We'll put it up on the board. They're marching. Reproductive justice means free Palestine. <laughs> what? Hmm. Well, abortion? Is that like... And honestly, literally, these Hamas terrorists were pulling babies out of pregnant mothers' wombs. And these idiots are walking out there with this sign. Well, th this actually is the only uh, comparison that I think actually makes sense because reproductive justice, quote unquote, you know, just killing babies in the womb through abortion has a lot to do with the arguments in favor of Hamas. It's all about killing innocent people and, and acting outside the ordinary norms of morals. Uh, so that one makes sense to me. I think the abortionists and the Hamas people have a lot in common. The, the <laughs> one that seems to make a little bit less sense is I don't know if you've seen the viral photos of the Queers for Palestine. Uh, this yes, is a movement of LGBT LMNOP activists, and they are strongly supportive of Hamas. And this is another one where I, it's maybe horseshoe theory. Perhaps I'm coming around here and trying to come to a nice conciliatory middle ground. I believe that every single LGBT activist in America should get their wish and be sent to Palestine. Not just the ordinary LGBT LMNO people have whatever they do in their own homes. That's, I'm talking about the activists with the flags who yell and scream and try to indoctrinate your kids. If they want to go to the Gaza Strip, I support congressional authorization for billions and billions of dollars, first class airfare, I will donate. It's, it's so unbelievable. Yeah, exactly, I love, I, I, did you just tweet, the, uh, I don't wanna ruin the surprise. Yeah. Like, well, wait, we'll you know, let them... fellas, we'll, you'll see when you get there. You've heard betting and apparel brands say they're the softest and most comfortable, right? But do they promise it? At Cozy Earth, you get the softest, most luxurious feeling fabric guaranteed. That means if you do not love Cozy Earth's bamboo sheets, 
you have 100 days to get your money back. But they're not worried about refunds because once you try Cozy Earth, you're hooked for life. Start with Cozy Earth's best-selling bamboo sheet set made of 100% premium viscose from bamboo. Super soft, ethically sourced sheets which regulate your temperature, keeping you cool in the summer and cozy in the winter. And it's not just sheets. They have pajamas, loungewear, bath towels, and much more. Unbelievably soft, unforgettably comfortable, the coziest way to make your home a sanctuary. And don't forget Cozy Earth's guarantee. All of their products can be returned or exchanged within 100 days and include an additional 10-year warranty against defects. CozyEarth.com, enter code MEGAN at checkout for up to 40% off. CozyEarth.com, promo code MEGAN. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.